the past year was a great year for Texas athletics. In 2020-2021, Texas took home three national championships, 13 Big 12 championships, and had 13 top 10 teams. But it was not a great year for Texas fans, most of whom had to settle for cheering on the Longhorns from their homes. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we found ourselves daydreaming about game-winning touchdowns so much as we've longed to be back home on the 40 acres. We've been thinking a lot about how a no-hitter looks that much sweeter bathed in the golden light of a sunset at UFCU Dishfalk Field, or the way arousing can make us forget about our aching legs after trudging up the ramp at DKR Texas Memorial Stadium. Or that moment when Gregory Jim gets so loud, it feels as if all the fans who have packed it over the past 90 years are in there together, cheering in unison. We missed it all so much that we went down our collective memory lane, pouring through photos of the places we've played, the fields, gyms, and stadiums that have sat emptier these past 18 months than they ever have. Here's a look back at many of the fan-filled arenas our Longhorns have called home. Today, Gregory Gym is home to Texas Volleyball. With an average of over 1,500 fans per match and a vigorous student section, the roar inside the cozy, historic gym gives the Longhorns a true home court advantage. Originally built in 1930 for around $500,000, Gregory Gym was named for one of the first 13 graduates of the University of Texas. Thomas Watt Gregory, who proposed a new modern gymnasium, came in 1907. For 46 years, it served as the home of both UT basketball and swim teams until the Irwin Center and Texas Swim Center were built. Following eight years of splitting time between UT's Rec Sports Center and the Frank Irwin Center, Texas Volleyball returned to the historic gym in 1998 after a $26.8 million renovation. Texas begins its 2021 season as the number one team in the country, following a second place finish in last season's NCAA tournament, with a rocking Gregory Gym ready to cheer on the Longhorns. Next spring, the Frank Irwin Center will be replaced by a $338 million public-private project, the Moody Center. The over 40-year-old Irwin Center hosted its very first event, a men's basketball game versus the University of Oklahoma, on November 29, 1977. Over the years, it's housed a women's national championship team, hosted the Dalai Lama and Paul McCartney, and been the site of legendary coach Jody Conrad's 800th victory. New men's basketball coach Chris Beard and second-year women's coach Vic Schaefer are poised to give the drum a proper send-off before moving to their new digs down the street. With a capacity of nearly 7,000, Dish Falk Field is one of college baseball's premier stadiums. Up until the opening of the Dish in 1975, Texas baseball played at Clark Field, a jewel box ballpark, a relic of the so-called golden age of baseball. From 1928 through 1974, outfielders had to contend with the limestone cliff Billy Goat Hill that ran from right center field to the left field foul line. After a heartbreaking loss in Omaha, ending Texas's 50-win season, the Longhorns returned to the dish next spring, ready to add a 2022 NCAA Champions banner on the wall in left field. Today, Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium is in its 98th year of operation and can seat almost 100,000 fans. In 1924, Texas played its first ever game at what was originally a 27,000 capacity War Memorial Stadium. In September, the Texas faithful will return at 100% capacity to a fully enclosed DKR Texas Memorial Stadium, ready to cheer on a new head coach, Steve Sarkeesian. Here's to another winning season for all of our players and fans.